623 now. The 2020 Olympic Games are being held in Japan next summer. And our auto expert Nick Miles has been to Tokyo ahead of the Games to have a look at some of the transportation preparations. We're less than a year away from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and here are some of the vehicles that you'll see in this Olympic Stadium behind me. Tokyo is the largest metropolitan area in the world, hosting over 36 million people. The Shibuya Crossing is rumored to be the busiest intersection in the world. At peak times, over a thousand people crossing at the same time, coming from all directions. And at rush hour, millions crowd the streets. Tokyo will become a little more crowded next summer. It's home to the 2020 Olympics. Toyota let us see and drive some of the vehicles that will be used in the Olympics and Paralympics next year. The iRoad will be used by the security services to respond and patrol the Olympics. We got to see and ride some of the personal scooters that will be used by staff. How many times have you guys been to a concert or to a sports game and you've actually had to park the car and travel on foot the last mile? Well, Toyota have a solution. It's called the Accessible People Mover, and this is for the last one mile for all people. It's an all-electric vehicle that will be deployed in the forthcoming 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The head of Toyota, Akio Toyota, introduced another form of transportation. Toyota will have 20 of its e-pallets fully autonomously transporting athletes and staff to the events. It can go up to 12 miles an hour. So want to see what a fully level 4 autonomous vehicle looks like? This is the Toyota LQ. Take a look at this. It will actually be deployed for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. It has UE, which is their AI system that can interact with you and understand and learn what you need as a driver. Take a look at the cab on the inside. Very futuristic. These dotted lines on the road will be used to allow this Sora hydrogen bus to actually pull up to the curb. This is the bus that will take people around the Olympic venues in 2020 and because it's hydrogen powered in the case of an emergency it can be used to power a whole building but not all the vehicles that will be at the 2020 Olympics are futuristic now outside at the track where they are testing all the Toyota vehicles we came across this this is the Toyota Sentry this is what's built for the Emperor we're gonna get to ride in it and find out exactly what Japanese royalty is like this is what the uh, emperor probably does on a daily basis when he leaves the royal palace and I'll probably be here for the rest of the week. I love my people. I'm clearly royalty. From the site of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics for Fox 59, I'm Nick Miles.